Quiet on the set. <laughs> In 2020, Whitehorse delivered three new full-length albums to Six Shooter Records, home to the artist's solo careers and musical partnership for over 20 years. One album was a hushed lo-fi collection of extremely personal stories, like tender and juicy secrets whispered directly into your ear. The second album, all high gloss and megawatts, was a work of bravado and bluster, a dare you couldn't refuse. The third, well, it's not quite time for that yet, but trust us when we say it's Whitehorse at their most excellent. But what would these albums look like? How could it be done in the middle of a pandemic, on a shoestring budget? And most importantly, who would translate these moods into album covers, photos, and videos? Enter Lyle Bell, mad scientist, wizard, and captain of Six Shooters Art Squad. So on the flight home from the first big shoot, I kind of had this feeling that we had maybe missed an opportunity and missed the cover shot. I had taken a day and shot Luke and Melissa walking around Kensington with this enormous balloon, which was sort of my metaphor for modern love, you know, a little bit delicate and once you pop it, it's gone for good. So I was thinking about super slow motion YouTube videos and Harold Edgerton's mid-century modern bullet time photography and I thought it would be super cool if we made a dynamic cover that was actually a video but that showed the definitive pop moment. So we hucked a thousand darts at a thousand balloons and uh, finally nailed it. Before Lyle's bursting balloon idea, he'd traveled to Toronto from his home in Edmonton for an intense mega shoot where we'd planned to capture all the videos, photos, and bonus bits we'd need for each of the albums, or so we thought. The challenge was to pack in three completely different albums and their respective moods into one studio over three days. The whole thing began with the concept for Strike Me Down. A prismatic, kaleidoscopic 70s feeling rock record with plenty of epic moments, lyrics, and textures to inspire Lyle's retro futurism style. Lyle cut his teeth working at famed alt paper View Weekly, screening gig posters, building cameras, and obsessing over analog photography in the darkroom. An artistic renaissance man of sorts, Lyle is currently the resident graphic designer and photographer at Six Shooter Records photographing many of the label's artists and staff. Lyle's ideas have transformed music videos, album covers, posters, and merch. He's also an accomplished musician and songwriter, relentlessly writing, touring, and making videos for his bands The Wet Secrets, Whitey Houston, and Synth Lords, Shout Out 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 Out. During the pandemic, everything had to go virtual and digital, and here we were attempting to pull off this very ambitious, extremely handmade, real-world concept. Could we do it? So for Strike Me Down, I wanted the set to be this bespoke, hand-built thing that Luke and Melissa could get inside and play, play inside where we would get stills and video, and it would be very obviously not a photoshopped piece. It was a living, breathing set. Um, I was inspired by sort of archways of Dr. Seussian archways and maybe a little bit of hypnosis, 70s design, 
add Sergeant Peppers, a little pinch of Sergeant Peppers in there. Uh, we built a little mini set before building the entire thing in Caitlin's garage at 4 a.m. in the middle of winter. Well, you can't just trust anyone to throw balloons at your face for eight hours, right? But we've known Lyle for as long as we've known each other, I think. We probably met around 2000. He got involved when we were making the first Northern South record, and very quickly he assumed a huge role in helping us figure out how we wanted to come across visually. We're not always comfortable with people trying to curate looks on our behalf, but with Lyle, there's an aesthetic kinship and a, like a playful eye that makes it all seem less narcissistic. It's actually fun and loose, but still somehow personal, like any other part of what we do, I guess, hopefully. So virtually everything since. Record covers, photos, videos, it all bears his fingerprints and the art squads more broadly. Both of our records, Modern Love and Strike Me Down, were recorded around the same time, and on first listen, they sound completely different. But if you listen carefully enough, you will hear that they are two sides of the same coin. And there are themes that blast right through both records. And the visual video component came together much in the same way. There are these ambitious, contrasting ideas, but if you step back and look at the big picture, you can clearly see the through line. Uh, you can actually see uh, little Easter eggs scattered throughout. Uh, Luke and I, we've always pushed each other out of each other's comfort zones. And when we're in the studio, we're constantly exploring new musical ideas, things that we have never tried before. And Lyle really brought this spirit to uh, the creation of the visual art. With the Promises video, we took the concept two steps further, using balloon explosions, 40 pounds of glitter, and samurai swords. Again, there's no narrative, but it's a colorful metaphor for how love can be beautiful and messy at the same time. A trippy Harold Edgerton moment for the 21st century, maybe. The band, as usual, were amazing to work with, and I think you can see with the footage that we're all having a blast on this shoot. We kept the Super 8 and 16 millimeter rolling throughout the weekend, and we were able to capture the most beautiful, intimate moments, moments that often go unseen. This footage echoes the sentiment of modern love and the creative direction with the video and the balloon burst on the cover, all representations of the idea that there's so much to see and feel that is often just out of reach of human and emotional perception. We got to witness these fantastical ideas come to life. Uh, and then, and then we tore them down. <laughs> we, the destruction was a, a, a part of the art. It was a part of the creation. Yeah.